Somali, the pirate queen, was born in 1530 in County Mayo. Even as a child, she began to follow in her father's seafaring footsteps. When her father told her that sailing wasn't for girls, she cut off all her hair and wore boys' clothing. She married her first husband, Donald, at age 16 and had three children. Much like Grace, he came from a seafaring family, but he had a warlike temper. Not long, Not long after they married, Donald was killed on a hunting trip by a Joyce clan. Donald had seized one of the clan's castles and they wanted revenge. Unlike her husband, Grace was prepared. When they came to reclaim their castle, she instructed her men to pour hot lead on the attacker's head. She defended the castle so well that it was renamed Hen's Castle in her honor. After her husband's death, she took to the sea to earn her living and became the chieftainess of the O'Malley clan. She had a castle on Clare Island and a band of over 200 men who loyally followed their pirate queen. She stopped Spanish and English ships and took their cargo for her own. It's rumored that she gave birth to one of her sons at sea and fought the English pirates the very next day. In 1566, she married Richard Burke in an effort to join his two families to fight the English. By marrying Richard, she also gained Roxley Castle, which was an essential part of her stronghold in that area. After one year of being married, she locked herself in Rockfleet Castle and yelled to Richard that he was dismissed. However, they remained married until he died in 1583. Grace was in prison for 18 months in 1577 for raiding the Earl of Desmond's land. She was released based on her promise to give up pirating. However, she went back on her word and resumed her life at sea. Around the same time, she kidnapped a young boy from Hawk Castle because his father didn't give her hospitality. To this day, an extra place is set at dinner for her. She was arrested again in 1584 by Sir Richard Bingham. He planned for her execution, but her son-in-law offered himself as a hostage. Even after her arrest, Bingham continued to terrorize her by leaving her destitute. He was shamefully dismissed in 1587, but returned to Ireland in 1590 and continued to try and stifle the pirate queen. Grace was outraged, so she went to the queen Elizabeth for help in 1593. Even at age 63, Grace went to London and demanded an audience with the Queen in such a way that made everyone expect that Grace would be executed. Again, Grace falsely promised to stop rebelling, pirating, and causing trouble for the English in exchange for help. But she was a fearless pirate queen. In 1603, Grace O'Malley died and her reign of the seas ended. But even after her death, her legacy remained. She was one of Ireland's greatest and most notorious pirates, as well as one of the first recorded feminist icons. She has been the inspiration for many books, plays, and musical pieces.